Hello everyone, I am Mayur Saxena from Informatica. In this video, I am going to tell you about draft record functionality. This functionality is available in Customer 360 and Supplier 360 both. So let's begin with the video. The agenda of this video is introduction of draft record. In this slide, I'll tell you about what is draft record and what is the need of draft record. Later, I'll tell you how to add a draft record, how to edit draft record and how to submit draft record followed by filtering and deleting of draft records which will be later followed by a simple demo for draft record creation so what is draft record if the user has roles and uh, permissions so they can create a record okay but they don't want to submit the record as the record is not complete till now in that case what we, they can do is they can create a record and save it as a draft and they can complete it later and then send it later for approval when the record is complete and draft record is not visible to other users so this is why we can use the draft record because if the record is not complete uh, it is no use that the other user can view it now go for adding a draft record how we can add a draft record we'll open the ui and then we'll click on the new tab in the navigation bar we'll select the business entity type and then we'll click on ok the entity tab opens and display the data entry from the business entity you can add the record and to save the draft record you can click on cancel and the discard new record dialog box will appear you can click on save as draft and the record will be saved as a draft you can access the draft on the draft page editing a draft record you can add ed even edit a draft record not only add but also can edit a draft record you can make the changes if whether if you have saved something let's say in any specific field you have entered some different value and if uh, it is just saved as a draft till now to get the complete record you get to know that there is some error you want to correct it you can edit the record as well so again just click on the draft select the draft record you want to edit the record will open you can just edit the data in the draft and you can just again save it you can follow the same step or you can just uh, submit on the record and click on save after that you can just submit the draft record after you complete the draft record just complete your data and make sure it is correct up to your uh, knowledge and then you can just click it and submit for approval in that case you need to just click on drafts you need to select the draft record you want to submit the record will open you will need to click on save filtering draft record it is kind of a, spe a special functionality which is provided to all the users they uh, if you want to select an entity type select the type of business entity that you want to use as a filter the data writer retrieves all the draft records that belong to the selected business entity type let's say there are a number of drafts you don't want to get all of them you want some specific type or let's say you want subtype of the sub subtype of the drafts in that case you can use this filtering drafts deleting a drafts let's say if the draft you created to make it complete for the later use but later you got to know that you don't want to use it anymore so you can simply delete the drafts as well it's not like that once you have created and you are bound to just complete the record and submit it for later use you can even delete the rec draft records as well so let's begin with the demo so right now we are in c360 ui and let's try to create a record here let me create a person record I'll give some sample values just for the demonstration purpose let's say address okay let me save it so here you can see only two options save and cancel no other option was there okay and the record is created now so let's say I have the complete values for these record the f last name first name full name title everything is complete here let's say everything is complete here I don't want to edit anything I don't want to add anything for me it's a complete record and any other user with the spe uh, specific roles and privileges can view this record so in case I don't have complete data I don't have complete let's say I don't have full name I don't have first name or something missing in the data which I don't want any other user to uh, have a read privilege on that but still I want to save it that uh, missing data that incomplete data I want to save it but not as a complete record in that case what we can do is we can save that record as a draft for that let's move on to provisioning tool 
it's my C360 ORS I'm going to layout designer to understand about layouts you can refer to the configuration guide I'll go to customer person so currently what layout is being used it is layout no draft this layout is being currently used which is not causing any draft to get created but what we want we want to create draft okay in that case we will just use this layout one draft it is a data component this layout gives us the functionality to use draft what I'll do is I'll just change the value to one the lower the value of list order it means higher the priority if we have multiple layouts then we can use the li uh, list order values we can set the list order values in a way which one to be used let's save this one we need to sa publish after save once the changes are published successfully just go to configuration manager again layout designer for the draft one we change the list order from 2 to 1 so in the same way we are just actually reversing the list order values so that the topmost priority layout will be the draft layout initially it was layout no draft was on top topmost priority right now layout with draft is on topmost priority let's publish the change for this as well okay the changes are published successfully now okay before moving let's just give a view to business entities task triggers it this is the c360 process roles it's sales operation analyst okay so the draft will be created with that user for which sales operation analyst role is assigned okay let's check in the app console in hub console for the sales operation analyst we have admin and sales okay and make sure in the hub console in the workflow section you should have be active was that be active was in workflow engine should be checked for this and secondary workflow engine should be empty so now when you will come to C360 UI login just try to create a record the process is normal the way you create a normal record this time you will see an additional checkbox this draft checkbox so it's up to you whether you want to select it or unselect it because uh, once you just configure for draft it doesn't mean that every time you need to or you want to create a draft sometimes uh, it can be the case you want to create a normal record as well so if you want to create a normal record just uncheck this checkbox and if you want to create a record for the draft then uh, you can just check the, select the checkbox okay demo draft giving some random values just for the demo purpose save demo draft so the draft is created successfully in the home tab you can scroll down and see the drafts okay. just a minute okay so this was on 23rd or oh sorry 21st and this is created today let's select this one okay so this is the draft which i just created okay shipping abc xyz 
so now it's up to the user whether they want to edit whether they want to delete the draft click on this discard or if you want to submit then you can click on submit okay if you want to delete the, this draft you don't want to use this you can click on discard if you want to edit this click on edit and if you think it's fine and uh, it can be uh, considered as a record uh, then you can just click on submit so this ends with the demo thank you so these are the references you can refer to docs.informatica.com for mdm c360 and mdm s360 regarding working with draft records if you want to give feedback you can give on the below links for the feedback thank you